Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this special members only content, which I'll actually release, like I said, the first 10 members only content videos to the general channel, at least for a limited time. In this members only content, I want to be able to show you how to make a vegan caprese salad, you know, like buffalo mozzarella and tomato salad, but with a Korean twist. So if you are a vegan and you still love that taste of mozzarella with some nice crisp tomatoes with some like balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil in the summertime, well, I gotcha because this is a vegan alternative with a Korean twist. Now the thing is, is that the the, the tofu is very important. You want to get the hardest tofu you can. You can do the whole drying method that you can look up on YouTube, but essentially I liked chogedang, which is a kind of like a, a regional small banker, but I think their distribution is so great in Korea, so almost every big grocery store has it. Trying to stay away from like, you know, the big major players, even if it's a Korean one. But if you can't, then get the one that is uh, made for puchim, which is basically like pan fried, not the soup one, not the soft one. You basically want to give it the test of if it looks like feta cheese from far away. That's when you know you have the right kind of tofu or tubu. So just do the same thing as you would with the salad and layer it, you know, um, in alternating segments. And it really does look like a, a, a tofu, I mean a, a um, buffalo mozzarella salad. Okay. There you go. Well, this is essentially how I'm going to do it. Now, the secret is instead of olive oil, sesame oil. That's going to give it the Korean twist, but it's going to make the tofu have that savory feel and taste of cheese. And so if you were wondering like, oh, what are you going to do about the flat tofu flavor? Well, I got you with this. It's basically the sesame oil. And I like to call this the drizzle method. I think this works much better, especially if you're eyeballing it because you just drizzle it over how much you want. No measurements or they say measure with the heart. Ooh. And that's the balsamic. So balsamic vinegar and... Sesame oil makes like the best secret salad dressing. I tell you, I kid you not. I'm only going to tell you right here because I still think that it's a hidden trick. Now for some sweetness. So if you have glazed balsamic vinaigrette, that's great. But for some sweetness, I got some um, pear syrup. So I'm going to put that on there. But honey works really well. And then, of course, we want to have, this all comes like together in like under five minutes, salt and pepper. And of course, you want some green. You can put some basil leaves or something if you have a garden. If you don't, I just have some dried parsley and just going to sprinkle that on top. And voila, there you go. This is so good, so refreshing, high in protein, light, and totally vegan friendly, definitely vegetarian. So let's get into this. I love how this just comes together so quickly. Ooh, that tomato. Mmm, that savoriness with that sesame oil, that makes it happen. And this is uncooked, uncooked tofu. So it's like instant. Mmm. And it tastes like cheese. It does taste like cheese. I, I could you not. 
Now that I've just turned this into a mukbang, let me tell you something, okay? You know how we're doing all this BTS stuff, right? And people are just like, oh my god, don't go against the government. Well, what did the government ever do for me? But they're like, don't go, don't go after the government. Well, guess what happened, you guys? My hard drive basically died. The hard drive that I edit all these videos on died. So I'm going to have to like redo some stuff. I sent it to the hard drive doctor. But before I did, I went to the official the official uh, service repair shop. So in Korea, you know, you've heard that like service is so amazing. And it is like if you have like a broken computer, broken appliance, they can sometimes like mainly come to your house if it's like a major brand like Samsung or LG. But if it's something like an overseas brand and you have to go to the shop, they'll repair it like, you know, on the spot. But if you bought it from overseas or if you're bringing something in that you brought from overseas, they're going to want to ask you for the receipt to try to see like if it's within the warranty period. But then also it can only be serviced by the authorized service people here in Korea if you bought it in Korea. And some people are really nice about it. Like the Dyson vacuum people, they're really nice, super nice about it. It's like basically saying like the only thing I can replace for you here in Korea is the battery. Other things, you know, basically you're out of luck. And so they, he was really nice about it. But then this person, the SanDisk people, they contract not with it's so it's not a sand disk you know service center they contract with some sort of like uh techie you know group and they service different brands and so the guy that i got he's like well this is from overseas can't help you well, okay then what do i do like you know because i went to the area where they have like a bunch of electronic repair people it used to be the place to go like before online shopping when you go to have um electronics like that you need to buy so i was like i know there's some people in the neighborhood that you know that are more like those techie people who can get in there i mean i was in the right place and then he's like oh. i was like well aren't you an expert and he's like well, you should just call Amazon. I was like, Amazon just sold it to me. They're not going to be able to do any repairs. And he's like, well, we're this place, not Amazon. I'm like, oh, dang. Attitude. He just didn't realize that I was in the mood to play back. So I was like, aren't you an expert? He's like, what? I was like, well, what is wrong with the hard drive or where can I go? If it's not you and like we're not Amazon <laughs> like, I'm like okay and then there is like a Korean way of saying like you know really snarkily like great job you're doing a wonderful job and so I just did that as I kind of like walked out and I could kind of tell that he probably wasn't expecting like people to talk back at him like you could see like he likes to tell people no to see the kind of like helplessness on their face and so there were a lot of other people there so the worst thing that you can do actually to somebody in that situation if they're working is to kind of make them like ashamed in front of other people and he got his afternoon delight okay that's all i have to say and just a warning to you guys if you come to korea you need something serviced if you go to the official place you have to expect that they might turn you away saying like this wasn't bought here in korea even if you're willing to pay money but then there's always another place that is willing to accept your money to go do a deep dive and fix it so don't give up just keep looking and uh if you want to practice your korean and you want to practice your sass hey if they want to throw it to you play ball all right, guys, try this salad. It is so good and it's perfect for the summer and it comes together like instantly. All right, guys, well, 
talk to you later. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And see you again next time. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Find us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Love you.